Hey guys, David Sever here. Um, I would I just thought I would do a review of some William Slater books that I've read in you know the past uh, couple months, couple years, something like that. Uh, anyways, the, I originally grew up uh, reading Goosebumps books, and uh, and I really love them. And it's just recently, actually, well, I'll get to. Well, I'll get to that story later, but recently I've been reading William Slater books, and, you know, a lot of people I hear, you know, like, maybe you in particular, compare them to R.L. Stein's Goosebumps. I think, I think William Slater goes, uh, a little, a little more, uh, intense than that, actually. Yeah, and point, you know, I'll get to my first book that I've read by him, uh, Singularity. See? Yeah, this is, this is the first William Slater book I've read. Pretty much a novella, novella, uh, but uh, but I enjoyed it. You know, I I won't go into spoilers or anything. It's about you know, two twin boys. They're kind of dysfunctional, and they move. They go to hold down the fort of their late uncle's house, and he's got their late uncle has all like all these oddities, and 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 somewhere around the house there's a there's which is there's the playhouse, which is on like some kind of wormhole or something something similar that and time goes faster in the playhouse which is a lot which is a common theme in a lot of a lot of his books that uh, and the books I've read by William Slater and uh I again no spoilers but just heads up if you're an animal lover you might not want to read singularity cuz well yeah but anyways but if if you can handle it though I I say I highly recommend singularity um uh, Go check it out. It's it's a great read, um, and I enjoyed it. You know, I thought it was a cool book, and a lot more intense than Goosebumps. Uh, I think William Slater actually pushed the envelope, envelope or however you say it, in terms of writing young adult novels and even young reader novels because he really went all out. Yeah, especially with Singularity, the first book I've read, uh, which brings me to my second book that I've read. Uh, Marco's Millions. Uh, Marco's Millions. This this is another book I liked. Um, again, no spoilers, but uh, I really enjoyed Marco's Millions. Funny story, which I'm gonna get to now. I originally uh, I originally found this. Um, well, this isn't the exact copy, but I originally bought a copy from when I was like in middle grade at at, at middle school, and they had a book sale. And this this they had a copy of this. And and uh, but I only read like part way through before I put it down. But then I years later I wanted to know how it ended. So my mom actually bought me a cop that that particular this particular copy she bought on Barnes and Noble. And you know she and I read it and greatly enjoyed it. Again, no spoilers, but it yeah gets pretty intense that's I'm gonna use that word a lot because that's one word that I can describe William Slater is well three words that actually creative intense and very unpredictable some sometimes predictable but very un, but usually unpredictable like you don't know how what's gonna happen or what which is a good thing um and you know Marcos Mills is about this young boy who likes to travel, you know, he he likes to go, he was obsessed with millions, Marco's millions, like millions of miles and stuff, and he likes to travel all over the place, and, and then, you know, in the basement, his sister keeps, he and his sister see, like, this time wormhole, dimensional portal thing that leads to this other dimension with, you know, these, these kind of creatures on it, you know, these, like, crab-like creatures that communicate telepathically it's it's really strange but i i thought it was cool i i enjoyed it and that of course brings me to my second book marcos millions's sequel the boxes i actually read this one last night it's i tried reading myself to sleep with this with this one and didn't work but i read it i read the whole book and uh yeah um it's I liked it too. It, it it's about uh, Marco is now I think. Well, they say he's 
Oh, well, they say he's 50, but I guessed he was like in his 20s because the way Annie did, the, Annie is his niece, Annie describes him in the book. Um, yeah, well, it's told from first person, which is a little unique. It's a guy telling from a girl's point of view, and I, I think William Slater did it, did it spot on. Uh, bravo. And, and, uh, you know, it's, it's about, you know, Uncle Marco now, you know, grown up Marco. Uncle Marco is, is visiting Annie and he's going off on his, one of his expeditions and guess where that leads. And, um, and, uh, you know, he leaves Annie with these two boxes, a metal one and a wooden one. The wooden one goes in the basement and the metal one goes in her room. And I won't go into too many spoilers because, Actually, I won't go to any spoilers because that it, I can't really say much about what else happens. Because, well, in the wooden box, there's these like crab like creatures, you know. These things in the box, they grow to the size of gerbils. That's all I'll say about the wooden box. In the metal box, I can't get into too much details. I mean, there's some sort of de there's a device in it, but I won't go into spoilers about it if you haven't read this book yet. Because uh, I think you should check it out. It's a really interesting book. I mean,. I hear a lot of people complain about the ending, which I get, because honestly, believe it or not, William Slater was going to write a sequel to this, a third one, uh, but he never did because, well, A, sadly, he passed away in 2011, and B, I, I think there was, he just never got around to doing it, uh, and, uh, sorry about the time, just, and, you know, uh, and yeah, I, I enjoyed the boxes, though. I thought, yeah, it's it's scary. I mean, it's not scary s scary as in you're like, oh my god, oh my god. You know, no, no, it's it's just, it's more of an, again, intense book again. You know, going a step above R.L. Stein in terms of intensity and maturity. Uh, but uh, yeah, I greatly enjoyed boxes. Uh, check out boxes if you can. Um, that brings me to a couple books that I haven't real. I mean, I read the first chapter to one, and but I want to read. I want to read it completely. Uh, so I, you know, and the other one I read on a vacation I took. I didn't read the whole thing, but I I want to read the whole thing. All right, House of Stairs. You see, I only read the first chapter of this. I want to read the whole thing though now because. I think they're making a movie about this, or at least attempting to make a movie. And now I'm curious. I want to. I want to read the book now. Uh, from what I read, it's cool. You know, it's from what I from what I hear. There's this group of kids that are trapped in these this place world with just endless stairs everywhere. And you know, it's it's neat. You know, it, from what I read, it's neat. I'll fill you in later. Uh, if after I actually read the whole thing, then that brings me to the one I brought on a trip with me, uh, Oddballs. Now, this is I think semi maybe just nonfiction in general because it's about William Slater's family and his relationship with his, you know, his siblings and stuff. Um, so yeah, but. I thought it was funny, I, creative, very wacky, but again, I'll read the whole thing on that. I want to read the whole thing on that, so I actually know what, know about, not not know about it, but so that I can actually enjoy enjoy it and know it from beginning to end. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my review of William Slater, and just to give, excuse me, and uh, just to give you an idea of. Uh, how how intense uh, comparing William Slater to R.L. Stein. Here's a couple of books. This is Go Eat Worms by R.L. Stein, Goosebump series, and this is Marco Millions, Marco Marco's Millions. And take a look at the covers. Yeah, big difference. See, like I said, William Slater's more intense and edgy than R.L. Stein, and he takes more risks, too, from what I've read. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to reading more of William Slater's books, not just the ones, not just these ones, but other works he does. Uh, if you know any other 
books by William Slater that are worth my time. Leave them, leave the recommendations below in my, in the comment section, and I'll talk to you some other time. Okay, thanks. Bye.